today I'm making a video for the Wisconsin DNR. They're starting a new citizen science campaign for salamanders. This is kind of a big deal for me because I've been doing Wisconsin frog and toad surveys for several years now. Sadie's here with me and there's construction across the street, whatever. But um, it's exciting to be part of getting on the ground level of a new monitoring program. You know what this means? False spring. The buds are starting. We always judge spring and false spring based on these buds in our backyard. See, the thing that I'm not quite sure about though is do I make it just like a boring video? Do I add some humor? Add some fun to it? I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh my God. So one of the things that really excites me about this is um, I really look up to Mike Mossman, who's a, a naturalist. You can see him here. Um, He's just one of the best naturalists I've ever met in real life. And he was involved with... Oh, hey, Gavin. Um, he was involved with uh, the initial installment of the Wisconsin Frog and Toad Survey, which was in response to apparent cricket frog decline, which we've been working with cricket frogs for the past 10 years at uw Platteville. So, um, yeah, it's really important to me. It's not easy being green. It's not easy being green. I don't know any of the other words to that song, but it's not easy being green. I guess I could make up a new song about salamanders. Because this survey is going to be about salamanders. Salamander. Oh, salamanders. Where do you hide? Where do you wander? Oh, salamanders. You're hiding in your pond. I wish I had a magic wand. To see how many there are, I could just count you from my car from afar. That wouldn't be fun. Salamander. Salamander. Where do you wander? Salamander. The other really cool thing about this is that I first fell in love with salamanders when I was a teeny tiny kid. And so, to be involved with this project, I'm proud. Alright. video and oh my goodness salamanders of Illinois did the first draft video and I'm pretty excited about it I decided to go you know kind of low-key training video vibe not really anything very funny so we'll see you want a sneak peek all right let's go look <laughs> So 
So the first thing you may be asking yourself is, what is an ephemeral pond? Well, ephemeral ponds are isolated basins or depressions with impeded drainage, having no inlet, outlet, or surface water connection.